that certain aspects of unmasking needed to be reviewed separately as a support to John Durham's investigation. So he tapped John Bash, one of our U.S. attorneys out of Texas, to do just that. And Sean, obviously, uh, we know that unmasking inherently isn't wrong, but certainly uh, the frequency, the motivation, and the reasoning behind unmasking can be problematic. And when you're looking at unmasking as part of a broader investigation, like John Durham's investigation, looking specifically at who was unmasking whom can add a lot to our understanding about motivation and big picture events. I, I have been told by my sources now, Kerry, for years that there have been unmasking at, at an increase of threefold in the, in the second term of the Obama administration. Um, I've been told that even members of Donald Trump's family have been unmasked. Maybe members of the media have been unmasked. That there is a lot more that has taken place. Is it, will the DOJ now look further into that issue? Why would there be a threefold increase in unmasking by in the second term of the, the former president? Well, that's why the attorney general determined that it was a to look at unmasking as a support to John Durham's investigation and looking specifically at episodes both before and after the election. And, and like I said, it, it, you know, the frequency, who was unmasking whom, uh, these, all of these, these circumstances and, and events can shed light on, and give us a better understanding of what happened uh, with respect to President Trump, his campaign, and then, of course, what happened after he was elected as well. Let me go back on General Flynn. Um, the D.C. Circuit invited the Department of Justice to weigh in following Judge Sullivan's actions, which are beyond unprecedented. Uh, and Sidney Powell, you know, filing the writ of mandamus in her case. Now the DOJ, will they weigh in? So the D.C. Circuit has invited the Department of Justice to weigh in, and we will do so. We will reiterate the arguments we made in our brief below, which we believe this case should be dropped. And certainly as the prosecutors in the case, as the Department of Justice, we have the prosecutorial discretion to make that decision. And Sean, Jeff Jensen, he's the U.S. attorney who the AG appointed to review the Flynn case. Ten years, a career prosecutor, spent ten years also in the FBI when he completed his review of the Flynn case, he told the attorney general that based on what we now know, he does not believe that any one of our 93 U.S. attorneys in the country would have continued to prosecute this case. All right, Kerry Kupik with the Department of Justice. That is huge news tonight, and we will have another report on this tomorrow night uh, when we don't have as much breaking news. We go back to Mike Tobin. He's on the ground. He is with some of the protesters. What's the latest on the ground there, Mike? Well, the back and forth is going on with the uh, demonstrators and the uh, police out there, and some of the fireworks have been in the crowd now. So it is getting a little bit dangerous this night.